What are you doing here? Oh, oh, no, nothing at all. I'm just enjoying nature. We've gotten outside of the city. And uh, we are making right now some beans and corn. Yeah. And, and then we're going to be making hot dogs in a few. Thank you. There we are. And hopefully we won't have any scary axe murderers come get us. But yes, we're having a Diners and Dragons camping trip. And we are geeking out over scary stories, right? Scary stories. Scary stories. Camp stories. Oh, before you say that, that's an interesting hot dog stabbing technique. What do you think? I always go all the way down. Yeah, no, you see, I like this. This is actually how he did it in um, Wizard of Oz. Ah. So I'm like, oh, yeah. Interesting. All right, what's your favorite scary story? My favorite scary story is The Vanishing Hitchhiker. Have you ever heard of it? Um, I don't think so. Tell me. So a uh, guy is driving one night in his car. And it's a very rainy night, and he gets kind of turned around, and he's lost. And uh, he's driving, driving, driving. He comes down in kind of a country road. And in the middle of this torrential rainstorm, there's this beautiful girl at this uh, rural bus stop. And she's wearing a prom dress. She's soaked to the bone. So he stops the car and he just kind of leans down and goes, Hey, you okay? And she goes, My, my boyfriend's late. And he goes, do you, do you want to ride someplace? Like, yeah, can you take me home? He goes, yeah, sure, get in. So she gets into the car. And they're driving, and she's shivering. So the guy um, takes off his jacket and gives it to her, puts it over her shoulders. They get to this craggly dirt road, and she's like, okay, it's hard to drive up there, but this is, this is very close. Thank you so much. She leans over, kisses him on the cheek, and runs out the door. And it's only when he's on his way back home that he realizes she still has his jacket. So the next morning, she, uh, he goes back to the dirt road and starts walking up the dirt road. Parks his car, starts walking up the dirt road, and he sees these gates. And he comes to the gates and it's a cemetery. And he turns around, realizes he only that's this is the only thing on the road, he goes through the gates and he's looking around confused. And then he sees uh, hanging from one of the tombstones his jacket. He goes over and he looks at the picture of the person that's on the tombstone and it's the same girl. And she died 30 years ago when she was 17, when she was waiting for her prom date at the uh, bus stop. She got hit by a car. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Ooh, that's a good one. I know. So, Lucy, what is your uh, favorite scary story? I really like High Beams. High Beams. You know that one, yeah? Um, remind me. So there's a woman who's coming home late from work one night. And she gets into her car and she starts to drive the long, lonesome road home. And she notices that there's this car that's following behind her pretty closely. Um, she just thinks, that's kind of weird, like not a lot of people drive on this road. And all of a sudden he pulls up really close behind her and he flashes high beams and he honks his horn really loud. She goes, I'm like, what, what's going on? That's so weird. And she keeps going and she makes a turn off onto another rural road. And this car continues to follow her. And she keeps going, and all of a sudden he pulls up really close to her and flashes his high beams and honks his horn at her. It's really terrifying. So she turns down the road to her house. It's a very rural road. The car follows behind her, does exactly the same thing, pulls up really close, flashes his high beams, honks the horn. She's freaking out at this point. So she pulls up to her house, and she, you know, kind of standing still and thinking, like, I can't, I'm terrified, this guy's following me, he's parked behind me. And the guy gets out of the car and says, get out, get out, get out! She jumps out of the car, the guy runs over to her car, pulls out a man in the back who's wielding an axe, and wrestles him to the ground while the cops show up. Oh, so he was in the back seat the entire time. There was a guy in the back seat and he was just trying to save her. Anywho, that's it. Wait! For the night is dark and full of terrors. <gasps> oh, yes. Okay, Game go on. Game of Thrones reference. Um, anywho, thanks for joining us while we were camping and being geeky. Geeky and, and camping and cooking. Yes, exactly. All of the things that we love. Scary, scary things. Okay. So, anywho, bye everyone. Bye-bye. Okay, Michael and I are going camping and he just left me alone in the car and this is officially a horror movie.